Welcome back to the morning blend. A new study in the Journal of Hand Therapy shows that kids have less hand strength and hand grip than older people. The reason? Most of them spend a lot more time on their handheld devices, you know, smartphones, and a lot less time using a pencil. That's right. So today, the importance of writing on paper first. Judy Cohen is the owner of Lakeside Educational Services. She's a former teacher, and now she is an academic coach, and she's here to chat about pencils. Got her pencils. I yeah, love thank pencils. you. One in each hand, please. All right. Yeah. See these? I love See pencils. These? Yep. these are not chopsticks. Yeah. No. No, we do <laughs> not, not use these pins. for chopsticks. You can put them back in the cup. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thank I'm you. glad they're sharp. I love pencils. Nice following directions. And I have this massive pencil sharpener on my desk. That's something I love people don't know so about much. Molly. She loves sharpening pencils. Yep. These are becoming antique because kids are swiping, clicking, typing yes. and not using it up here and putting it on the paper. And yes, hand grip is becoming decreased as a child gets older because we're not asking them to grab and write as much as we used to ask them. Does it matter? I mean, like, is this just kind of like an evolution thing that we're not going to need that? Oh, anyway? we are going to need that. Let me tell you. <laughs> First of all, when you write on paper, mm -hmm. the brain works entirely different. It okay. comprehends. It retains this information and you can remember it. When you type, 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 the computer may go out, the iPad may go out, the phone may not be charged, mm -hmm. but it might be forgotten. What about the organization of thoughts? Because yes. I still have a paper calendar, you do too, yes. right? And people always make fun of me about it, that it's not on my phone. And um, I feel like it helps me organize my thoughts, but also organize my day, it, my week, my months. It organizes everything. Anytime you write it down, and that's that assignment notebook that we've done shows about that yes. is mm -hmm. a crucial tool in your child's toolkit. But when you write something down, you are going to remember it. When you take that, and, and when you do not write something down, when you go from the assignment to the computer, yeah. all you're doing is typing, and then all of a sudden the child sees all these little red lines and starts spell checking, Ah. forgets completely what they are writing about. And I have to tell you, the moment a child stops typing, the brain stops thinking. Mm -hmm. And that creates the disconnect between the thoughts. Mm. During the summer when I work with kids, we do impromptus. It is crucial to have your child read an impromptu and think about what does this mean? Yeah. What does it mean to me? And write down complete thoughts. Complete sentences that is going by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Writing notes is a critical skill that your child needs to have. Spelling. Yeah. Um, spelling is an epidemic proportion. It, we have a sickness because kids do not know how to spell. Because of autocorrect, right? Autocorrect. Oh, and, and then they're not even doing that, like that correct. Yeah. Then they're p pressing the wrong words. Oh, they know how to text. Uh, mm -hmm. They know how to string letters and they know how to string words, but they don't know how to capitalize. They don't know how to oh, choose punctuation. punctuation. And it makes a tremendous difference in their writing. So pencil to paper is the first step. Okay. I'm not saying don't type it. No, because technology is here to stay. Yeah. That's the final step. But the steps in between go from the brain to the pencil to the paper. Mm. And then the big crucial thing is read it out loud. And why does that matter? When we think about reading in general, is there a difference between out loud versus not out loud? Uh, tremendous, tremendous. When you can hear what you have put on paper, you will hear your continuity of thoughts. Mm. Many kids will say to me, Mrs. Cohn, this doesn't make sense. Bingo! That's Just because why, they said it out loud. That's right. That's why they read it out loud. Not even reading it to yourself yeah. makes that big a difference. And then, wait a minute, then after you <laughs> read it out loud, you have to print it out and look at it on paper. Right. It will be entirely different than what you see on a screen. Mm -hmm. I am not against technology, but I am against not using those steps. Yes. Writing is practice, writing is difficult, but lo and behold, we're asking kids to work. Yeah. Whoa, that's what you go to school for. Now, do you have an <laughs> issue or, or an opinion about whether it's a, a pencil like the ones we have here and you sharpen them and mechanical <laughs> pencils? Because yes. I, I right. personally can't stand mechanical <laughs> pencils. But I, a lot of kids use them these days. So in a garbage can that I have where I work with kids is the graveyard of mechanical pencils. Boop, there goes the lead. <laughs> Boop, there goes the lead. In the meantime, it takes away from your continuity of thinking, and this is the main thing I want to get. Oh, across. because you're breaking the lead, you're you're and you're clicking it, and it breaks again, and you're clicking it, yeah. and uh oh, lead's gone. 
Mm -hmm. So a cup full, a mug full of sharpened pencils is the first key to your child's writing hmm. success. And I'm talking about little guys too. I'm not just talking middle yeah. school and high school. When your second grader, third grader brings home a piece of work and there are major spelling errors and possibly the, the teacher has made them aware of it, mm -hmm. take five minutes at night and have them rewrite the sentence because kids today don't get a lot of homework. That's a yeah, whole nother yeah. show. Yeah. They don't get a lot of homework. Rewrite, redo, review. Because writing is practice. Wait, you think kids today don't get a lot no. of homework? No. Oh, I think kids have a ton of homework. Not at it's it's certain grade levels. Okay. But let's build these skills while they're little because once you get to middle school, you're going to have those strong writing, spelling, thinking, descriptive vocabulary skills. If we don't make this a, an awareness now, yeah. then the kids are going to have some real difficult times in middle and high school. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's important. People, do people work with you to increase their learning skills? Is that Absolutely. what you do? Absolutely. Um, I work in this. In fact, in the summer, we're writing a we're running a writing workshop for high school students only. Okay. Which is phenomenal. I work with kids in middle school and lower elementary on a one to one basis. Yep. But I work with kids during the school year all year long writing. Okay. Writing, helping them write. I do not do it for them. Nor should you. It's nope. their work. And nope. writing is not just a part of English. I mean, nope. we, that's something to make mm -hmm. clear. A lot of classes, especially as you move toward college, require a lot of writing. Can I leave with writing. seven things I want your viewers to hear? I'll be quick. you got to go super fast. Okay. You have what it takes to be successful. I am proud of you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. I'm listening. This is your responsibility and the best. I love you. Aww, that's, a great that's what list. kids need to hear. You Thank saw the information at lakesideeducationalservices.com for more as well. And the phone number on your screen. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Judy. Oh, I love, love to see you. <laughs>